Okay, I am Professor Beverly Hunt. Uh, I'm Medical Director of Thrombosis UK and I wanted to give you a message about what we're doing at Thrombosis UK during this very difficult COVID-19 pandemic. Um, it does feel like the world has turned upside down uh, and we at Thrombosis UK are trying to keep as much going as possible. We have, however, had to cancel a number of face-to-face -face events uh, and we will be postponing them uh, until the situation is better for people to meet. I think that what Thrombosis UK has done in the past has meant that the British population are in a better position if they are very sick with COVID than the rest of the world. I have had many discussions with clinicians across the world and what they don't do uh, in their hospitals is give regular blood thinners uh, and stockings and intermittent pneumatic compression if people have risk of blood clots. And uh, we have to do this in the UK. We campaigned for this at Thrombosis UK and you have to have a VTE risk assessment when you're admitted to hospital and you have to get blood thinners. And what's come out of the COVID epidemic is that a lot of the Chinese doctors and Italian doctors are saying we are seeing a lot of people who are getting blood clots, perhaps not surprisingly with very sick patients who are immobile and on ventilators for a considerable period of time. And I just really want to say that in this country, patients will all get appropriate blood thinners. Uh, and if they need mechanical methods such as intermittent pneumatic compression to squeeze the legs, they will get that automatically. Uh, and as I myself are working uh, with COVID patients, I have to say that in our very big unit that we have, we haven't seen excess numbers of blood clots. So the early signs are good. Um, as far as those who are concerned who are at home and trying to maintain social distancing, if you have had a blood clot, it is important that you keep going with your medication and that you keep active and that you do take that time during the day to get out and get some exercise and just don't sit around for too long at home and obviously not to get dehydrated. Uh, to cope with the COVID patients, hospital care has dramatically changed. All my clinics have disappeared. Uh, I do talk to patients over the telephone from the comfort of my own home, which is uh, a very different way of operating. I think you need to feel rest assured that uh, we will communicate with anyone who's got serious issues, but if you have routine appointments, then they will be pushed back. Um, I think that the national policy on managing anticoagulation, which means the anticoagulant clinics are trying to switch people who are taking warfarin and putting them either on a direct oral anticoagulant or asking them to inject with low molecular heparin is incredibly sensible because this stops people going up to the anticoagulant clinic to have blood tests uh, when they could be uh, at home and not exposing themselves to unnecessary contacts. Um, we know that there is national guidance for this and this is, has been sent to all the anticoagulant clinics uh, and so they will be following this policy. It's really to keep you, the patient, safe. So rest assured that I think things will work out. So just to sign off and say, keep healthy, keep mobile, keep taking your medicines, uh, and I wish you lots of luck during this very difficult time.